Ever wish you could track the heartbeat of the crypto market in a single glance? What if I told you that Google Sheets can become your new crypto dashboard? Let's dive into the digital currency revolution. Hi, I'm Guillermo, and today I'm gonna show you how it is that you can transform your Google Sheets into a powerful crypto tracking tool. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just crypto curious, this guide is for you. The first thing that you need to do is open a blank new spreadsheet. And here, what you're going to find is that if you type Google Finance, this function from Google is going to be automatically shown to you. And this is what we're going to do to retrieve the data. Now, before we get any cryptocurrency data, we need to know what is the symbol that we need to use within the Google Finance function to retrieve the data. For this, you can just simply type something like Ethereum price, meaning the name of the cryptocurrency that you're looking to get and then the word price. And this is gonna tell you the symbol that you need to be using for Google Finance to be able to recognize the function. So in this case, what we're looking for is this keyword right here. So you can see it's ETH. Now you're going to go back to your spreadsheet and here we are going to type the symbol that we saw. Then we are going to enter a dash and then we enter the currency that we'd like to get the cryptocurrency in. In this case, this is going to be in US dollars. After that, we simply close the quotation marks and then the bracket, click enter and right away you are going to get the actual price of Ethereum right now. Now just keep in mind this is not really real-time data and that is because as it says right here there's a delay in the quotes of up to 20 minutes but still you can get the real-time price of the cryptocurrencies using this method now if you want to get real-time data for cryptocurrencies that is more up-to-date I'm gonna show you the second method that you can get real-time data for and for that is to use the wise price function that comes so if you're interested in this you can check out the videos on our channel but that the way it works is super simple you basically enter the same information so in this case we have ETH except there's no dash we are just going to enter USD directly and then we are going to select price as the parameter that we want to get the benefit of this is that instead of the data being delayed by up to 20 minutes the data is going to be delayed by up to 15 minutes so it's more real-time data and there's over 3,000 currencies that you can get real-time price data for. Now I'm going to show you how to get historical cryptocurrency data on your Google Sheets spreadsheet. So in this case, we're going to use Bitcoin as the example. And all you need to do is use the Google Finance function again. In this case, we're going to use this as our ticker. So this is Bitcoin and this is going to be in US dollars. And then here, what we're going to type is price. So we're going to select like price and then right here is going to ask us for a start date and end date this we can hard code so that way the date stays the same no matter what so for that you can use the date function and you can say like i want data for this specific year for this month for this day or what you can also do is if you want to keep it dynamic is use the today function so in this case we're going to use the today function and the start date is going to be from 30 days before so we take today's date minus 30 days and then if we want it to be until now we're gonna just enter today so we use the function again and what this is going to do essentially is it's going to give us the price of bitcoin for the past 30 days now all you gotta do is click enter and as you can see you are going to get this information right here so you're going to get the date you're going to get the close and here we get the price and you get the different values right here cool thing about this is that all of this is dynamic so if i change this now to a and we do it in US dollars you can see that the data will automatically update for you the same process applies with Y sheets but it's a little bit more straightforward so again you're gonna use the wise price function you're gonna enter uh, in this case ethereum and then it's gonna ask you what are you looking for well in this case it's not gonna be price it's gonna be close because in Y sheets you have access to the open the close the low etc you can see on the website what data is available 
available. And then instead of using the today function, we could just say, I want data for the last 30 days. If you don't want that, you can just skip this and you can use the date function to specify specific dates. Now, in this case, we want it for the last 30 days again. So we select this, click enter. And as you can see, you are going to get the same data right here. So you're gonna get the date and you're gonna get the close. Same thing happens if I update this cell to a new cryptocurrency, all of the data will update for you. Now, let me show you how you can make your own crypto dashboard like this. So as you can see, we have a whole bunch of cryptocurrencies here we have their charts we have price information and we have some other information here as well this is just going to be an example but you can customize this any way you want so the way that you do this is through the functions that i already show you so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to get all the information here so starting with the wise price function what you can do is instead of selecting one at a time we're going to select all of the different symbols that we have right here and then all we need to do is enter the parameters so in this case these are the parameters that we're looking for now you might be asking why you have eps and pe and this is because this is originally for a stock dashboard so if we were to change this um from Bitcoin to now Apple, you can see that the data updates and now we have this information, but this is just an example. Now we're gonna bring it back to Bitcoin and you saw that we got the information. How you get the chart, this part is a, a little bit tricky, but in this case, all I recommend that you do is that this that you follow this exact formula and this leverages the sparkline formula that comes in built into google sheet so that way you can get your price data like this now for the other data uh, it's very very simple so what do we do well in this case we are taking now this particular cryptocurrency and we're dividing it by a million to get the shares outstanding in millions now let's say that we want to get the year high and the year low for this if we want to do it again Again, it's really really simple all you need to do is enter the list of cryptocurrencies that you're looking to get data for select the parameters and then you click enter and all of the data automatically updates you can also do the same thing that i'm doing right now with google finance with the limitations that i already mentioned now you may notice some really interesting things here and this is for example the fact that if the change in percentage is negative you can see how the formatting changes this is very simple to set up on your spreadsheet so you select the data and then you head over to format and then click on condition formatting and here what you're gonna do is set up this simple format right here so you're gonna say if the values that you have selected one of them is greater than zero you select this custom format that you want and if they are lower than zero or in this case less than zero you're gonna select this format this is gonna perform the formatting for you automatically and it's gonna allow you to more easily keep track of your cryptocurrency price movements the last thing that I want to show you is how you can create your own custom candlestick charts in Google Sheets. So for that, we're going to use the wise price function and we are going to select Bitcoin again and we're going to select it as the US dollar value. And then here's where it gets a little bit interesting. So you're going to enter these curly brackets and here we're going to enter the low. We're going to enter the open and then we are going to enter the close and then we just need the high. So this information is really important and this is what we need to be able to build our candlestick graph. After you do that, we're gonna select this for the last 30 days again. So we close this bracket and now we should get the data right here. So here we have the information. We're gonna select it all and then simply go to insert and then you're gonna go to chart. And now this chart is kind of BS, so don't pay any attention to it. We're gonna just uh, expand it a little bit so it's easier to see the data and what you're gonna do is you're gonna change the chart type and now we're gonna scroll down all the way here to where we have the candlestick chart this is a great chart to have for cryptocurrencies and as you can see now we have the information right here which we can then use to be able to predict price patterns for this particular cryptocurrency there you have it the gateway to tracking the pulse of the crypto market in Google Sheets.
If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications on so that way you get notified every time we release a new video like this that's gonna allow you to take your investing game to the next level.